All right, so we just did a uh, part of this question. We did one third of it, completed and transferred out of production from the rolling department. Now we look here, it says, what is inventory and process ending? Okay, well, I told you before, we weren't gonna use all of these numbers at once, but we were gonna ultimately probably use all of them. So if you're asking us for inventory and process ending, well, we can merely go up here to our set of facts and we can find inventory and process. And if we know that July the 31st is the last day of the month, well, July the 31st and ending, see what we did there? Yeah. So all we have to do is say, okay, our inventory and process as of July the 1st equivalent units that's what we've been talking about the whole time is 7,000 equivalent units as it pertains to direct materials and ending inventory and process July the 31st is 3,500 units as to conversion costs. So what this essentially is telling us that we have 7,000 units uh, and all 7,000 of these units have had all of the materials that they're going to have added, they've already been added. These same 7,000 units here are 50% complete as to conversion cost. So we have 3,500 equivalent units as to conversion. So what is our ending in process inventory in dollars? Well, I'm going to tell you. All we have to do is simply take our materials of 7,000 equivalent units times our given $2.25 and we're going to add to that are 3,500 units, equivalent units of production, and we're going to multiply that by our rate of $1.35. I'll give you a moment to make that calculation. If you haven't done so already, and I believe that when we execute those two uh, equations and add them together, we'll come up with $20,475. Okay, and that is, our, that is the value of our ending inventory in process, $20,475. All right, let's go ahead and do this last part. It says, total costs assigned by the rolling department. Total costs assigned. Well, this is pretty simple. All we do is we take both of these figures, take our $253,000, $253,780 of the cost of production that has been completed and transfer it out of production, 253,780. And we're gonna to add to that our ending inventory value, equivalent units of 20,475. If we do that, we should come up with $274,255. I want to say one thing about this $20,475. This ending inventory for July, this, this is going to be our beginning uh, inventory value for August. Okay, That's not what the question asks us for though. So total costs assigned by the rolling department consist of the first two parts of the equation, or the question rather, completed and transferred out of production, and ending inventory value.